My name's Ruth and I am a physiotherapist here at Complete Pilates. On the 4th of February it is World Cancer Day and we want to help to promote the benefits of exercise for oncology patients both undergoing treatment and recovering from cancer treatment. So can exercise actually help to fight cancer? We had a look at the research around this topic and I'd like to share some of that with you. Many people ask, can I exercise if I have cancer and I'm undergoing treatment for cancer? And the simple answer is, yes, you can. Exercise is well known for helping to reduce stress, reduce tiredness, and help you to feel more positive, all of which are really important factors if you're undergoing treatment for cancer. All of the usual well-documented benefits of exercise still apply if you're undergoing treatment for cancer. So it will help you to maintain and increase your muscle strength, um, maintain your range of movement and flexibility, maintain and improve your cardiovascular and respiratory health, and enable you to function in everyday life with as much ease as possible. The next thing that people often ask is, is there anything I shouldn't be doing or I can't do if I'm undergoing treatment? This is a really difficult one to answer because there is no one size fits all. It's really an individual basis, depending on the kind of cancer you have and the treatment you're undergoing and at what stage you're at. And this might change as you go through your journey. Often you may need to avoid high impact exercise or heavy weights at certain stages of your treatment or recovery. So I would advise you to speak to your consultant before you take on anything new that might involve heavier exercise. So can exercise actually help you fight cancer? Yes, it can. The right level of ex exercise can actually boost your immune system, which can help you to fight the disease and to get through your treatment. It also gives you a positive frame of mind, which will help at all stages of your treatment. Can exercise help prevent your cancer from returning? This is a great area because there are massive benefits of exercise in terms of reducing the risk of your cancer returning. In 2012, Macmillan Cancer Support looked at the research around this and found that people who take part in exercise have between a 30 and 50% reduced risk of their cancer returning. So then we think about whether exercise can actually prevent cancer from occurring in the first place. And yes, it can help. It can play a part in reducing the hormones, which can lead to rapid cell growth and gene mutation. Obviously, exercise is only one of the things that can help you to prevent cancer. The other things to be aware of are making sure that you have a healthy diet, that you avoid nicotine, that you limit your alcohol intake, and um, be aware and careful of exposure to the sun, and make sure that you go for regular medical checkups and seek advice from your doctor if you have any concerns. There are a few things that it's worth being aware of if you are undergoing treatment. At certain times, your immune system may be quite vulnerable, which can leave you more susceptible to contracting other illnesses. At these times, it's good to potentially avoid areas where you may be in contact with people who are unwell, who've got a heavy cold and they're in the gym or in the public pool. So make sure that you're liaising with your medical professional regularly to ensure that you're safe to be doing these things. The other thing to be aware of is if you are undergoing chemotherapy, you may have times where you feel particularly sick or are feeling very tired. And you just need to be aware that you need to time your exercise around this so that you're gonna get the most benefit from it. So is there a right time to start an exercise program? Again, there's no one answer to this, unfortunately. It is gonna depend on you, your treatment, and how you're feeling. So do consult your doctor, and I'd encourage you to speak to an exercise professional someone who regularly sees people who are perhaps undergoing treatment so that they can advise you specifically on what you can do and when you should start doing it. I hope you found that interesting. Um, please do read the blog as well. It has a little bit more information in there. And if you want to learn more about how Pilates could fit into your exercise program, then please do get in touch with us here at Complete Pilates.